Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's gonna be a quick rundown of things and you know, a couple of here and there's that happened within this week as this week was jump packed with a very major event which is the release of Blender 2.83 and the LTS thingy. So we're gonna get started by talking about, you know, the developers meeting. The developers meeting was quite awesome. 2.9 has simply commenced. There is going to be a beacon which would start up pretty much soon i'm gonna put a link in the description where you can check out the video where we talked about that next off we saw an amazing release of blender 2.83 now 2.83 came with a couple of things believe me there is just a huge and a truckload of things that it came with so some of the very cool stuff are like the grease pencil you know the virtual reality which is actually mind-blowing to see that you now have that directly in blender and now we have the optics denoising we talked about the sculpt cloth brush we also you know talked about several stuff that you can now do directly in blender so with this beautiful stuff coming and you know all of these beautiful things here there are also certain news that you need to know about but before we even you know talk about those news um the whole thing about the lts for me i think this is like a very strong point for blender and the lts right now would actually make more studios accept and work with blender knowing fully well that they will support and clean and also manage bug reports and anything along that line that they have while in production so this makes a lot of sense and for anyone who is actually considering can i now use blender for my full-on production yeah, you should be able to use this and get some very good group and get some very good performance and at the same time because there is now a long time support depending on the version that you're working with which some beautiful modifiers also made it to 2.83 and for me i think i really love the whole idea of the voxel remesh i also love the idea of the modification for or should i say you know the updates to the ocean modifier the wrap also makes a lot of sense and the solidify and now i've not actually gone ahead to play with the corrective smooth and also the surface deform which i will in due course so these are some very cool stuff that happened right you know some of the hot gist some other cool gist that happened that we also talked about last time is the google summer of code so we looked at the google summer of code and i did share with you guys that some of the students or you know some of the persons that are participating with this one they have actually started out some things and this week was the original you know this week was like the main week that they started out all of this and it's really cool to see that some of these things have actually commenced i'm also going to put a link in the description where you can check that in light with all of the release and you know in light with the ecstasy that everyone seems to be having right now when we are talking about blender 2.83 being released there are some promising news so the guys at rococo has actually gone ahead to you know share something rococo is a motion capture suit and motion capture merchant these guys are known for creating some pretty cool motions and at the same time they have an amazing suit that you can use to capture your motions and for me i think the suits coming from rococo is pretty decent and if you're trying to get into working with stuff like that then probably you will be able to do that if you go over to the emotion library and you know you can get this one right now so this uh talk about them having something for blender it sounds to me like the motion capture library will be coming to blender very soon so recently they released something alongside maya and that was for maya 2020 and it was really cool to see that you now have the motion library from rococo directly in maya so in case you want to do your retargeting you want to get your motions you no longer need to go outside you can do all of those things and you can get those motions using the motion library market that exists in maya so if this actually makes its way to blender i think this might just be really really cool without a doubt this is going to be awesome for anyone who is into motion capture motion retargeting or maybe you just want to mix certain motions together as the week continued, we also saw a tease from Pablo and Martin. Pablo and Martin are the same guys working on the key mesh, which we've already talked about before. But currently, there, there is this tease that they released out that is animating without keyframe. Now, the whole animation for this particular stuff relied heavily on the pose brush. Now, with the pose brush, we are looking at some pretty revolutionary stuff that anyone who wants to now work directly in Blender and sculpt their meshes will be able to do this. We've also seen a couple of updates come to the pose brush over a period of time. We've seen the IK. We already talked about how the FK now works with face sets and we have also seen it work alongside topology now this isn't the first time that we are seeing tools like this as we've already seen a 
couple of these things previously. There's an alpha tool that does pretty much what you can get with key mesh that we've already talked about on the channel and it is known as Sculptron. And Sculptron is from a toy which you can use to animate your sculpt. You can voxelize that sculpt at the same time, you can proceed to convert that to a VDB and export it to any app of your choice. Now, Sculptron exists. There is also another one known as Chronoscope. And Chronoscope is from Newtech, previous owners of Lightwave. And we already saw some very, you know, interesting stuff like that. We also saw and covered Mosh3D, which is also another interesting tool which you can use. Now, the big difference between Mosh3D and Chronoscope is that you can animate directly on an alembic mesh so believe that you've worked on a model somewhere and you've animated this model you can bring this into chronoscope and also bring it directly into mosh 3d you can add some deformation you can you know paint some jiggles you can pretty much animate this object and you know redefine and tweak how the animation of the alembic object is at this point blender doesn't seem to have that function but hopefully once 2.9 shows up, we might be able to have functionalities like that. And speaking about 2.9, there is actually a pretty cool update to the pose, you know, to the pose sculpting brush. And Pablo has actually teased a very tiny feature not so long ago, about a couple of hours. And this in itself would make a lot of people do some pretty much interesting stuff. Things like squash and stretch are now cool features that you can now use the pose brush to do. And the whole idea for me about the pose brush is they will continually refine this pose brush to do a lot of things that people would want to do when they are animating. So the whole idea of having a key mesh animating without rig, a long run would make a lot of sense. All right. So the pose brush, on the other hand, will now stand in as a rigging tool, not really as a rigging tool, but as a puppeteering tool. Animating without rig would be very, very interesting to see. As most of the time, once you make a huge mesh, you may just simply want to make certain tweaks and certain movements and not completely go all the way out to retopple this tool, bake some materials, proceed to rig them and then animate them. So it's going to cut away all of that time that you're spending doing all of the aforementioned stuff. And you can just go ahead, model, sculpt however you want, paint directly onto your sculpt and proceed to animate them and also tweak them to actually fit into what you want. So this is more like the updates that we have for this week. Blender 2.83 is out. Rococo seems to be making some promises. Let's believe that those things come to pass. LTS is now here and if you're trying to get into working with Blender and you want to take a look at some of the cool functionalities that is coming to 2.9, we've talked about most of them in the channel. The clothes thing is here so you can now do gravity with the clothes. There are some pretty cool features that you can now play with if you're trying to create primitives. We already talked about some of those things and links are all going to be in the description. And also with the new primitive tool, uh, I guess a couple of persons were asking questions earlier on the channel and I'm just going to put those ones to rest. So if you create a cube and the question was basically more like if you do create something, can you, you know, create directly on top of it? Yes, you can. So, for example, now that I've created this cube, if I simply go over and, you know, stay within this view, I can choose to create directly on top of this. So in case you're having any of these bugs earlier, probably maybe you downloaded the very first version. Now it's fixed, so you can actually get this one up and running. I've not experienced that, but I got a couple of complaints about this i'm just here to put that together you can switch from here select the axis you want if you want to you know draw this based off a surface if you want it from the center you know origin certainly up to you you can simply do all of that so this is from the center and if you want this from the base of course you can also get this from the base and alongside we've also talked about some other cool features and you can always check those in the channel i'm going to put a link in the description where you can see these ones for yourself tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and i'd like see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace